Leslie, uh, for most of your career, you're a, a, a prisoner of Hollywood typecasting. You played meanies, sneaks, little yeah, meanies nasty persons. In minies and moes. Yeah, <laughs> but without a trace of humor. And suddenly you get cast in an, airplane, an airplane after that naked gun, and you turn out to be very funny. Now, how did you get out of the straitjacket? I have no idea. Really, what I think it was airplane, of course, and being cast uh, in that role by... Jerry and David Zucker and Jim Abrams, but they know, they realize that they could take serious actors like myself and Robert Stack and Peter Graves and Lloyd Bridges and simply put us in their situations and with their dialogue. And if we played their stuff as a, with such a gravity and seriousness as we approach the other stuff, you know, police action drama, that it would be ridiculous. And it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's the secret, really, isn't it, of real comedy to play it straight and let the, let the, the events come up as funny. I think that the same quality uh, that uh, makes both ring true and works for both drama and comedy is credibility. And uh, you must be believed. Then it can be really funny, especially in sanity. If you believe in sanity, then it can be funny. <laughs> now, you would have to stay in shape for these movies, wouldn't you? They require a fair amount of knockabout yeah, yeah, from I, physical when action. I, when, when I did Naked Gun, the first one, uh, and I could see what was going to be demanded of me, just simply in terms of, in terms of showing up and the number of yeah. hours and the days. So about three months before we began, I, uh, I started working out in the gym and uh, preparing myself, so to speak. It was wonderful because we, uh, practically all of us, got up early to get to work early because we knew we'd start laughing sooner. <laughs> I know you'll forgive me if I say this No, I you. will not. <laughs> How do you mean I know that? <laughs> you, you are, you're a much better actor playing your own dumb, stupid self <laughs> than trying to do the smart Alex script by somebody else. He's right. One hundred percent right. <laughs> you know, people, people ask me, well, are you really like Frank Drebin? I mean, yeah. uh, are you as dumb and as stupid as Frank Drebin? And I used to say, just a minute. I mean, I leave my work at home. When I get it's out on the porch, I go in the door and it stays there. And then I realized that I, I'm really very dumb. <laughs> I'm very stupid. <laughs> I go to sleep with them every night, and I, we become friends. What a pity it took them 35 years to find out how dumb you are. It took me 35 <laughs> yes. years or more. <laughs> dumb like a fox, I think. <laughs> well, well. Yeah, well. Do, you, do you see any parallels between what you're doing and, and the Peter Sellers character that amused us so much, too? Well, I'm, I'm, the idea that you would think about that at yeah. all is very complimentary. Yeah. And, uh, I'm delighted that it has been mentioned to me before, and I'm so happy to be traveling in that mm. kind of company. There is a parallel in the sense uh, that it's, you know, comedy. I think it's different comedy. I think Peter mm -hmm. Sellers is more of a caricature, and we're more like cartoons. Mm -hmm. But uh, they go for the same thing, and that's laughter. And that's all I go for today. Do you find a greater recognition in that than in all of the roles that went before? Well, the way it's turned out, you know, it, it seems, seems to be happening like that. Funny. Yeah, great. it's great. I love it. <laughs> Leslie, I spent many years in the press gallery in Ottawa beating up on your brother, Eric. What's tougher to succeed in, politics or showbiz? Why don't you ask him? <laughs> <laughs> because he won't speak to me. <laughs> oh, one of those. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. I never really, uh, I don't have high demands. I, I'm not, uh, I'm low maintenance, so... Uh, I was really quite happy before Airplane came along and was successful or doing well, and that was enough for me. I, as long as I can hang out with my daughters and friends I love and so on, that's all that really counts. Well, like politicians uh, bleed at uh, columnists' criticisms, do you, do you bleed at reviews? Do you give a damn what the reviews say? I don't really read them. Um, I, I really don't. I, I do Darrell, the one-man play, and we would travel um, when I was on tour, and I did not read any reviews. I could tell at the end of the play from the audience's reaction whether it was effective, but I also knew how I had done because of what I felt. So I didn't have to read anybody. Uh, but don't misunderstand me, you know, uh, th there can be very pertinent observations made by critics. It's just that uh, it is criticism, isn't it? <laughs> Do you remember the time you created my, my, you recreated for me a classical education? and taught me how to do a child's song along with Vancouver Symphony? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's an honest man. Yes, I do remember. 
That was, but that was not, wasn't that the time with the famous people player? Yes, yes, yes the famous people Diane Dupuis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you take a, a serious role if it was offered to you now, or are you now well, stuck so, in a new type casting? I, I'm absolutely. Uh, you know, David Zucker said that after the first Naked Gun, he says, Leslie Nielsen will never again be offered a serious role. And in part, he has been right, but I have done, uh, for example, we did Love Letters. I did it with uh, Carol Burnett yeah. in L.A. And I did recently a, a light-hearted kind of drama with uh, Betty White, but uh, I'm in the process of uh, planning to go out on tour again with uh, Daryl. Really? I, you know, I'm, 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 uh, you know I may, I'm like a plumber, but I don't just do my plumbing in Beverly Hills bathrooms. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless I know we could go on and on. Yes, but, now uh, what else would I, you like to do? I can't. <laughs> one, of the mean, pleasure, done. one of the pleasures in seeing your great success is I knew you when. When we were both struggling students in the old Lauren Green Academy of Radio Arts. Do you remember those days? Oh, do I ever. And Les was the scholarship student, and he won above all the rest of us and got two years at the Neighborhood Playhouse when in New York. That was Lauren Green's alma mater. Yeah. But yeah, I, I really feel by comparison that <coughs> I was the struggling student because you were to us the Renaissance man. Oh, I mean, you were the picture <laughs> of sartorial splendor, a how very elegant and professional man. He I don't even. <laughs> our mentor, this man here, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cut away to a commercial, but I have to. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>